Hello friends, here in this video we will see a problem on C clamp. For that purpose, here we have a question. I'll read what is given here. A C clamp, as shown in figure, the diagram is given, carries a load 25 kN. The cross section of the clamp at XX is rectangular, having width equal to twice the thickness. Assuming that the clamp is made of steel casting with an allowable stress of 100 megapascal, find its dimensions. Now this is the question which we have. Whatever is given here, we can write that in the form of data. So let us get started. So in this data, we'll write down that it is a C clamp. Next, C clamp as shown in figure carries a load of 25 kN. Now this C clamp is here, the diagram is in front of us. It carries load P of 25 kN. So I'll write this value. P is equal to 25 kN or it is 25 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. Next, the cross section of the clamp at XX is rectangular. Here at this section XX as shown in the diagram, the cross section of the C clamp is rectangular in shape. So we can draw that cross section. Thickness is denoted by a small t, width is denoted by small b. So here is the rectangular section. I can draw the section lines here. Thickness is small t, width is small b. I can even draw the axis here. We have X and Y axis. Next. After this, it is given that the rectangular section having width equal to twice the thickness. Here width is B, thickness is T and it is given that width is equal to twice of thickness. So it is 2T. Then, assuming that the clamp is made up of steel casting, it is made of steel, the material is given, with an allowable stress of 100 megapascal. This stress is given, I'll write down, therefore, allowable stress is equal to 100 megapascal that is 100 Newton per mm square. Here the question is, find its dimensions. Means in this question, we have to calculate that what will be the cross section of this rectangular section used for C clamp. Because this silly C clamp, it has a rectangular section as it is given and we have to find the dimensions of this. So let us get started with this problem. Now the concept which I will use for this problem is that first the dimensions are what we have to calculate that is B and T values. So in solution I'll say that since the load on C clamp is eccentric therefore the C clamp is subjected to both direct as well as 
बेंडिंग स्ट्रेसेस नाउ सिंस द लोड ऑन द सी क्लैम्प इज एक्सेंट्रिक इट मीन्स दैट दिस रेक्टेंगुलर सेक्शन इज हियर एंड हियर वी हैव एक्स एक्स सो देर इज डिस्टेंस बिटवीन एक्स एक्स एक्सेस एंड द पॉइंट वेर द लोड इज अप्लाइड एज वी कैन सी हियर सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज एक्सेंट्रिसिटी because the load is acting at a particular distance from this rectangular section so remember that whenever the load is eccentric then a member is subjected to both direct as well as compressive stress or we can say bending stress now as it is subjected to direct and bending stress i'll say that the c clamp is subjected to both the direct as well as bending stresses now i'll calculate the area of this section i'll say that since area of c clamp which is the cross section area that is capital a is equal to b into t so i can say that therefore capital a is equal to now in the problem they are saying that b is equal to twice of t so it is 2t multiplied by t so this becomes 2t square so this is the value of area which i am getting for the rectangular cross section now as i have told previously the c clamp is subjected to eccentric loading so there would be two kinds of stress direct and bending first i'll go on to find the direct stress i'll say that since direct stress acting on section xx is given by now see how this c clamp functions when the load is applied as we can see in this direction uh, here one load is acting upward and the other is acting downward because of that what can happen is that this c clamp it can turn in the opposite direction means it is subjected to tension because both of these value of load will try to extend this c clamp and it will try to elongate so we can say that the c clamp is subjected to tensile stress at first the primary stress or we can say direct stress is of tensile nature because when the load is acting there are chances of the c clamp breaking at this section xx and that is due to tension or we can say tensile load so the direct stress acting on section xx is given by i'll denote direct stress by sigma d and as i have told that it is nothing but the tensile stress so here this will be load upon area the simple formula of direct stress so therefore direct stress is equal to now load which is given in the problem that is 25 kilo newton so now if the load is 25 kilo newton then i can convert it into newton as i have converted it into the data itself so therefore 25 into 10 raised to 3 divided by capital a which is 2t square so therefore direct stress is equal to 25 divided by 2 that is 12.5 into 10 raised to 3 upon t square i'll highlight this and keep it as equation number 1 now after getting direct stress we will go on to find the bending stress i'll say that since bending stress is given by the formula of bending stress is simple it is 
sigma b is equal to capital M upon z. Now, when I'm writing this as capital M upon z, I'll keep this as equation number second. And here I'll say that where capital M is equal to bending moment and the unit will be Newton into mm next Z that is called as section modulus and it will be given by I upon Y unit will be mm cube so now in order to get bending stress we should know the bending moment and section modulus so I'll say that after this since bending moment is given by m is equal to p into the distance I'll take the distance as 140 mm how I have taken this is that if I can explain it on the diagram now in this diagram as we can see here the load is acting and this distance is 140 mm from x section xx so I am taking p into 140 so therefore load p is 25 into 10 raised to 3 multiplied by 140 so finally the value of bending moment it comes out to be that is 3.5 the value which I have calculated into 10 raised to 6 Newton mm now this is the bending moment which is acting on this clamp after this we will get the value of z which is called as section modulus so here I'll say that since section modulus is given by now if we want section modulus for rectangular section as it is given in the problem that will be z is equal to i upon y now the bending is taking place parallel to y axis as we can see this in the diagram of c clamp this is the y axis of rectangular section and here we have load p so y axis is parallel to p so here i will be taking section modulus about y axis so this is y i moment of inertia about y axis that will be tb cube by 12 and it is divided by y which is equal to b by 2 so therefore z will be equal to tb cube by 12 this becomes reciprocal if i remove division sign by multiplication that becomes 2 by b so finally z is equal to tb square this b and b will get cancelled here this becomes tb square by 6 if i do the calculations here now after getting this section modulus in the problem they have given b is equal to twice of t so here this becomes t into the value of b it is twice of t square divided by 6 so hence z will be equal to this is 4 t square by 6 now after getting z and m that is section modulus and the bending moment I'll say that put all values in equation number 2 so therefore put all values in equation number 2 in equation number 2 we had bending stress is equal to m by z 
the value of m it was 3.5 into 10 raised to 6 divided by z that was 4 t square divided by 6 so finally this will be 6 will go into the numerator so it is 6 into 3.5 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 4 t square and therefore if I simplify this here I would be getting this as since we have to now here as I have said that when we were calculating z section modulus it was t b square that we have to remember so when I am making this square this becomes t square and if I multiply it by t it is actually t cube so z is equal to 4 t cube by 6 so here I have that is this is cube 4 t cube by 6 so finally I have my answer of bending stress that is if I divide this numerator by 4 I will get my answer as 5.25 into 10 raised to 6 divided by t cube so now this is the value of bending stress which I am getting now as I have explained previously also that since the c-clamp is subjected to both direct as well as bending stress so the total stresses therefore total stress on c-clamp that will be equal to direct stress plus bending stress now direct stress we have got the value it was in equation number 1 it was 12.5 into 10 raised to 3 divided by t square 12.5 into 10 raised to 3 divided by t square plus bending stress is 5.25 into 10 raised to 6 divided by t cube and now the addition of this is the total stress and total stress given in the problem that is allowable stress 100 mega pascal this is the total stress which is given so direct stress plus bending stress will give the answer as 100 so now I'll add this and the total answer of total stress would be 100 next what we can do here is that I will divide by 100 throughout so I will get my answer as I will write it on to the next page that is therefore dividing by 100 throughout for simplification we are doing this so therefore it is 1 is equal to it is 125 upon t square plus 52.5 into 10 raised to 3 t cube now what I will do I will shift all terms on one side I will write it in a particular manner 52.5 into 10 raised to 3 upon t cube plus 125 upon t square this one I will shift it onto the other side so that becomes minus 1 is equal to 0 now if I calculate this by using the trial and error method or we can solve it by using shift solve or even we can solve it in a cubic manner so if I solve this my correct answer would be therefore t is equal to it is 38.5 mm this is the correct answer which I am getting so this is the first answer that is we have calculated how much would be the thickness of the rectangular section now I'll say that since B is equal to twice of thickness this is given 
सो देर फॉर बी विल बी इक्वल टू टू इन टू थिकनेस इज थर्टी एट पॉइंट फाइव सो फ्रॉम दिस आई विल गेट बी इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी सेवन एम सो दिस इज माई सेकेंड आंसर नाउ इफ यू लुक इन टू द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सी क्लैम्प दे वर सेंग अस टू कैलकुलेट द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द सी क्लैम्प अलॉन्ग सेक्शन एक्स एक्स सो यर वी हैव डिजाइन द क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड इफ आई कैन शो इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ ड्रॉइंग देन द रेक्टेंगुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन विल लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस इट वॉज टी एंड बी Here with also we have calculated and even the thickness. This width B is seventy seven mm, and this height is, or we can say thickness, that is thirty eight point five mm. That is the thickness. So once we know the thickness and we know the width. we can say that we have designed the rectangular cross section cross section for c clamp and if we have designed the rectangular cross section of the c clamp we can say that this problem is solved and with this we complete the question